Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. We have new cookies and coffees to look forward to at Gideon's for the month of September. They have a special peanut butter nitro cold brew cookie and a French toast flavored coffee. And this might be the best combination ever. And then later on, we're gonna take a trip over to Disney's Boardwalk and we're gonna visit Jelly Rolls for a special Labor Day luau. I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're also going to just wander around Disney Springs and see what's new for the month of September. I know that we've got some fall and Halloween treats coming, so we're going to see if we can get any of them today and just kind of enjoy. It's a beautiful day. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. You actually can see one of the cars out on the water there from the boathouse. Such a beautiful day. I'm excited. I come out to Disney Springs every single month to try all of the new offerings because they always have new things every single month and when I saw Gideon's had a peanut butter nitro cold brew cookie and a French toast cold brew coffee I was like this might be the greatest combination ever like it, it sounds so amazing and I think we're gonna head there first we're gonna see if we have to get a virtual queue or if we can do the standby line Looks like they're doing a virtual queue today, so we're gonna have to get our return time and see how long the wait is and just wait around a little bit. Shouldn't be too long because it's not the first day the cookie came out, but we'll see. Looks like we're gonna be able to hop right in line and I'm very excited because I know we have to get over to Jelly Rolls tonight for that special luau. And if you guys don't know what Jelly Rolls is, it's a dueling piano bar at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. It's really, really fun time and I don't think I've ever seen them do a special event. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what it's like, but now let's take a look at the menu. I went to go hold up the menu, but the menu's over there. Did you see that? I'm like, let's go take a look at the menu uh, that we have for Gideon's. Here is a look at the menu for Gideon's for the month of September. And I know there's two items I'm already excited to get, but guess what? There's a third item. They actually have a peanut butter cold brew cake slice. So we're going all cold brew today. We have a cold brew peanut butter cookie, a cold brew peanut butter cake slice, and then of course the French toast nitro cold brew. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. I am so excited. What a lineup, what a trifecta. I was only planning on getting just the coffee and the cookie, but now that the cake slice is on the table, I mean, I gotta go for it. Like I said, it's the perfect trifecta. And I'm also intrigued to see if this takes my number one spot for my number one cookie, because the chocolate chip banana bread has been my number one cookie from Gideon's for a while now, but this might take it. I really think it's gonna take my number one combination though, like combination cookie coffee. I don't think anything out there is as creative as this. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I wish my house can smell like Gideon's every second of the day. It would be so amazing. It might be because of all these cookies and cakes. And right there is the cake slice they have. The peanut butter cold brew cake. That looks so phenomenal, doesn't it? We're definitely gonna have to get it. I mean, we're going all cold brew today. Delicious things await. I got the goods. Now it's time to go look at them, check it all out, and uh, try a little bit. I'm not gonna eat it all, but I'm gonna save it but at least give them all like a little sample. I got them all lined up and ready to go. We've got the peanut butter nitro cold brew cake. And look at this, it's got a Reese's peanut butter cup on the top there. You can see the coffee in there. Reese's PCs on the bottom. That looks so amazing. And then we've got the peanut butter nitro cold brew cookie. And once again, you can see the peanut butter and the coffee all in there. And then the French toast cold brew. I mean, what? Like this is like, Perfect. Delicious things do await. And we're just going to dive in, but I don't know which one to start with. I mean, I think I'm, I, I'm going to use the French toast in the middle because, you know, it's going to be a lot of peanut butter happening there. So you need something to drink. I think we should do the cookie first. Okay, let's do the cookie first. We're going to break it apart. You know how we do. We do this every time. And I'm excited. Look at this. I love coffee. I love peanut butter. Put them together. Look at that. It just falls apart. Oh boy. We're going to take this piece that just fell down. Mm. I just can't believe how well blended this cookie is. Not overall peanut butter, like not overly peanut butter. And I can taste some of the espresso in there. This is so good. Holy moly. Usually when you dive into like a peanut butter cookie, I mean, it's just so overpowering. But this is like just the perfect balance. The perfectly balanced cookie right here. Oh, much too good. Now we gotta try the French toast cold brew. And we're gonna try the French toast cold brew on its own. And then we're gonna try the combination cookie coffee because it's gonna be like peanut butter 
peanut butter French toast. Uh, Elvis loved peanut butter banana French toast. My mom loves Elvis. And now I'm starting to love Elvis because of the movie and seeing her actually watch Elvis and tell me like about her growing up. Uh, how did this conversation get on to Elvis? Oh yeah, peanut butter and fr <laughs> French toast. Well, all right, let's try the coffee first here. Oh, come on. That is so good. Now we gotta do the combination. We gotta go for it. The combination of French toast cold brew with peanut butter cold brew cookie literally will make birds appear. This was so good. Oh my lord. Definitely the best combination cookie coffee you can get at Gideon's. I mean, this was absolutely fantastic. And we still have the cake slice to get into. And plus, I just like the coffee itself. I wouldn't say the cookie is my number one. I still just love that banana the banana cookie but i can definitely say this is my number one combination together like you know what i mean putting these two together and actually i remember trying the peanut butter with the banana cookie and that was a good combination but adding the french toast in there it's a game changer that's definitely a game changer now it's time to dive into the cake slice and wow there's so much happening right here but i have this beautiful little area by the water just sitting down enjoying a coffee a cookie a, a cake and just relaxing here at Disney Springs and I like that. I like it a lot. I'm not even too sure how I can approach this because I wanna get a little bit of everything. So maybe I'll just take a piece from down here. Let's see what it's like. Get some of that icing. Grab a couple of these up top here. There we go. Let me get that yellow one. Get on there. Come on, little fella. Oh, perfect. I definitely think Gideon's cake slices are underrated. Like, people don't give this the credit that it deserves. I mean, I know it's a lot of icing. A lot of people always say it's all icing, but I mean, who doesn't love icing, especially flavored icing? And the icing's so good, they actually sell it individual so that you can dip your cookies into it too. Just letting you know, just throwing that out there. So let's give it a go here. I like this cake a lot, but I like the cookie more has a lot more peanut butter to it and i would love to see vanilla too because it would remind me of a tasty cake and that would have been so awesome like a tasty cake cake from gideon's oh man that would be amazing but all three of it together is the perfect trifecta i am very happy with this and uh i highly recommend it go big and if you can't eat it all like I, I i just save it these cakes are absolutely amazing frozen the cookies are good frozen too like well not frozen frozen you have to let them thaw out but i can eat the cake slice frozen i like eating frozen cake i think it's actually fun but i always put the stuff in my freezer and then i have cookies to enjoy whenever i'd like the coffee though i'm drinking that right now that's not going home <laughs> Enough of the cookie business though. It's not a trip to Disney Springs unless we stop at Sprinkles Cupcakes to get Gracie her little cupcakes because I've been out for a while and she's been looking for them. Looks like there's a little bit of a line in here though. Usually I don't see Sprinkles that busy but holy moly, we got a lot of people in here. All right, let's start our order here. Top here to start your order. You gotta find the cupcakes. We got German chocolate, Sprinkle, Chocolate marshmallow, triple cinnamon. Where's Gracie cupcakes though? We need the pup cups. When do they start selling cookies too? Gideon's better watch their backs. I can't find Gracie's cupcakes. Oh, there they are. Three pack. I'll take it. Your order. Check out. No thanks. Let's put paging. I wonder if they'll call my name. She really did call my name. Well, she actually paged me, but I missed it though because I wasn't looking. But I missed. I, uh... She really did call my name. She actually paged me. She said, "Paging Mr. Amaro," and uh, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. But at least I got the cupcakes. The cupcakes have been obtained. I needed to get myself something to drink because it's so hot outside. So I decided to stop over here to Wetzel Pretzel and get myself a fresh lemonade. And they're making up pretzels back there. I like it. Pretzels smell good, but I just need a lemonade. That's all I'm in the mood for. A nice, cool lemonade. <laughs> I think I have been bamboozled. Now, I do have to say, this is a very good lemonade. I like the straw. It's a really thick straw. But, this was $8. 
$8 for a lemonade. I know Disney prices are high, uh, but Wetzel Pretzel, what's going on? I mean, it's refreshing though. It is doing the trick, so beggars can't be choosers, so I'm just going to enjoy it. And I also found out that most of the Halloween snacks don't come out for another week, so I think we're going to go home. We're going to go home, give Gracie her cupcakes, and get ready for our luau. It's an afternoon pup cup delivery. Oh, you lost it. It's on the ground. Here, take it out of my hand. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Looks like you guys are going to get a double shirt day today. Earlier I was wearing a Beetlejuice Roosevelt in case I didn't mention it. And since we're going to a luau tonight, I had to switch over to the Florida Stanley shirt, which is probably the best shirt to actually wear to a luau. And it's probably the best shirt that I own from Roosevelt because I absolutely love it. And now we are at the boardwalk. Time to head in. Maybe a quick trip to Epcot though. Maybe a hop into Epcot, hop in, hop out, and then come back to Jelly Rolls. Well, now I kind of have a dilemma because I thought maybe a quick trip to Epcot would be a good idea because we have like an hour before Jelly Rolls opens. But look at the skies over towards Jelly Rolls. It looks like it's beautiful out. And then as we take a peek over to Epcot, looks like we're walking into the unknown here. Might get a little bit rainy, but you know what? Let's go for it. We're going to go. Yeah, let's go. It won't rain. I just heard some very heavy thunder and I feel like we're gonna have like one of those moments where like that sound comes in and it was at this moment he realized you know what I mean like <laughs> I made a mistake maybe going to that cop but we'll see we'll roll the dice all right, we have made it into Epcot. Looks a little bit busy right now. I'm sure a lot of people are starting to head out because they see the storm approaching. The Skyliner shut down, but I think it's not going to be that bad. I think if it rains just for a little bit, then it's just going to disappear afterwards, but we'll see. I say we swing by Joffrey's and get ourselves a pumpkin coffee. I feel like I haven't had the pumpkin coffee from Joffrey's yet. The main reason I wanted to come to Epcot is because I have some friends in town. So I wanted to say hi to them real quick before we end up going to Jelly Rolls. And uh, yeah, kind of in a pumpkin coffee mood. I'm not even too sure if they started selling the pumpkin coffee. I gotta check it out. I hope they do. Oh no, it looks like they've got something else now. I think they just got a castaway cold brew. A creamy combination of Joffrey's Shaken Jamaican Nitro and Sweet Cream. Oh, no pumpkin today though. Well, this is so funny. They would actually have pumpkin, but beware, our syrups and sauces are temporarily unavailable to reduce the attraction of bees to this location. Isn't that so funny? And you guys know I love the bees. Oh, speaking of the bees. I know, right? I love bees. Usually they just sit in my hand if I hold it out long enough. So come on. Come little bit. <laughs> I know. I guess since there's no pumpkin and it's the bee business, look, a bee just landed on me right now. He's sitting on my shoulder here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, nope, he's gone. But anyway, I ended up getting the castaway, even though we didn't have the pumpkin. And it's good. Might as well take my coffee and go head over to Guardians of the Galaxy because that's where my friends are. They're actually riding it right now, I think. Look at that. The sun's starting to come out. The rain clouds are starting to go away. Well, maybe we're not even going to get any rain. Looks like somebody dropped their french fries over by the fry booth. Can we get a cleanup crew? Cleanup crew coming in. There we go. Thank you. Come on in. Cleanup crew. Excellent. One more coming in. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Late responder. <laughs> That right there might single-handedly be one of the greatest videos I've ever captured. How funny was that? <laughs> well, it looks like things are a little bit backed up here at Guardians of the Galaxy. The virtual queue line starts here, and the line goes all the way down. Holy moly. My friends are in there somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see them, but look, there's a monorail. Well, I got to say hi to my friends. It took them a long time though in that virtual queue. They showed up and uh, when they told me they were heading in and when they came out, it was over an hour, over an hour. So like even if you do get the virtual queue, you still do have a long wait or maybe it just went down for a little bit, who knows. But now we have to start making our way back to the boardwalk. Came over to Epcot to grab a coffee, say hi to some friends and play with some ducks. And now we're leaving. We've made our way back over to the boardwalk for the perfect sunset that's happening right now. Look at this. 
that cotton candy sky. It looks so beautiful out right now. I kind of just want to stay here and just watch it happen. But we do have somewhere we have to go. And I'm excited for the luau. I've never, never seen jelly rolls do anything like special. So, but wow, just take a look at that. I kind of don't want to look away. I'm sorry this video was so random because it, it wasn't like the way that I was like imagining how it going. I thought I was going to get a lot more snacks down at Disney Springs, uh, but most of that stuff doesn't start uh, for a couple of days. And I figured why not just bring you guys along on my journeys here. And I'm just loving this. Look at it. It's like the Golden House. Perfect time to take a selfie. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the boardwalk looks right now. This is like so surreal. There's no filter on right now, folks. This is what's happening in real time. Because of this sky and like the approaching storm, everything is just changing colors like magnificently. And plus we have the lights on right now. Wow. I feel like I'm in like a, a fictional world right now the way it looks. But here it is, Jelly Rolls. I'm so excited. We're gonna head on in and find out what's going on with the luau. This is gonna be, I come here all the time though. It's one of my favorite places. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever been. And let me know in the comments if you wanna come. Uh oh, I see a lot of people with Lay's. This is gonna be fun. It can get a little bit dark and loud inside Jelly Rolls because like I said, it's a dueling piano bar where they'll actually play requests all night long. You just uh, go up and tip them, put a little note what song you want, you write down, put it on the piano, and the piano players are fantastic. They also do a cover charge here, so it's $18 to get in, but that does include free popcorn. So, I mean, that's very fun, free popcorn. And tonight's like a special night. Like I said, it's a luau, they're gonna have lays, and they're gonna have a cost, uh, costume contest. So so everyone that's dressed up in their best, I feel like I have uh, a good chance at winning, especially with the Florida Stanley. And uh, yeah, we're just going to dive in. We're going to head on in. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. They actually decorated the stage. <laughs> They've got a whole bunch of different uh, luau's and lays up there. Look at the pianos too. This is really, really cool. And I bet you they're going to be playing some good music too. I'm excited. The entertainment starts at 8 o'clock, but I'll give you all the details once I figure everything out. The tables actually have little lays on them and you get little tiny uh, stickers and signs. Look at this. This is really cool, but usually it's very dark inside Jelly Rolls because that's the atmosphere, but I love it. I think this is really fun. So it looks like they're doing uh, special drinks. They have some drink specials, including $5 shots. They have a pink bikini drink. I think I'm gonna get the pink bikini drink. And they're also uh, giving out lays and doing a costume contest. This is really cool. So they're doing it tonight and on Labor Day. So uh, yeah, it's really nice seeing Jelly Roll things, like do different things. I wanna see if they do more of this. I really like it. Kristen is actually joining up with me. You got the lay? We got the popcorn? Oh, the fancy lay. Here you go, you gotta get it. Give me a fancy Get the fa fancy lay. <laughs> Very, that's much better, much better. Uh, it did, is there, make some noise if you came intentionally for the Luau party tonight. Woo! There you go. And then everybody else is like, what in the world? Give me a hand if you guys are here tonight. If you, uh, how this? Anybody make some noise if you've been here to Jelly Rolls before? Woo! Woo! <laughs> make some noise if this is your very first time ever.
was wearing that mask all wrong the whole entire time. Sean is wearing it right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's out. Jelly Rolls was a lot of fun, and it's really cool that they're bringing back themed nights, you know what I mean? They used to do this in the past, but I never got to do it before, and they actually sent me a message and said, hey, we're doing this really cool luau for Labor Day, we would love for you to come out and check it out, and I was like, well, absolutely, I would love to. So keep a lookout on their Instagram page, and when they announce, I think they're going to do some more holiday ones, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm in a new outfit. Fit. Well, that's because to make this video probably the most random video ever, I decided to actually uh, come to Waffle House and get something to eat with some friends. And trust me, I get it. You guys are probably thinking, hey, they were at Jelly Rolls all night and they're coming to Waffle House at 3 o'clock in the morning. But guess what? It's not even 3 o'clock. Like, everything's open it's it's funny because it's only 10 o'clock it's 10 o'clock at night and we're here at waffle house and uh i don't think i've ever been to waffle house this early like i don't think i've ever been here this early i am so excited to be bringing you guys to waffle house they're actually playing celine dion at the moment what a time what a time yep we got this seat right here next to the kitchen. You can see my hash browns, got a pecan waffle coming, and I'm so excited. Look at this, this is the stuff. It's so lively in here, and there's so many workers too. Usually, like I said, I come, there's only like one, one cook, one server, because it's like three o'clock in the morning. Oh man. Tonight, it's because it's 10 o'clock, so we, we get the best of the best. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> we got some nice orange juice. We got a Waffle House coffee right here. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. The night is young. <laughs> the night is young. It's only 10 o'clock. Craziness. What? Why are you laughing at me? Where's Sean? Sean should be here shortly. Just Wait on that guy. Coffee. Gotta get the pecan waffles then. <laughs> Music selection is just on point tonight. Look at those waffles back there. Oh, I love me some Waffle House. Oh, those must be my hash browns right there. Oh, yes. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, look at that. Hot and fresh right from the flat top. <laughs> I love it. Fun fact about Kristen, she actually worked at a Waffle House. Yep. Not this Waffle House, for but... For like 15 minutes. Yeah, for like 15 minutes. Like 3 like, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friend. I was, I was up, I was up some hash browns. Oh, yeah, I know. You're doing great. <laughs> but yeah, this is you. This Honestly, is... Every that time, used to be you. Yeah, I was back there, like up, like last week. Every time, all the times you come to the Waffle House, it's just the best experience. The best. The main event has arrived. The pecan waffle. Look at that. And why does this waffle look so thick? Look at yours too. Holy moly! They're stepping up their game here, and I love it. I'm all for it. 
This coffee is just so good. I also want one of these mugs. Do you think you can give me one of these mugs since you got an inside scoop here? Uh, I, I, I got the job here. I got it. <laughs> Definitely need to get all that syrup on there. Look at that. I don't like a lot of syrup, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of syrup. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> Nothing like that first bite of Waffle House. Oh. If you don't black and white this, I'm gonna be mad. I love Waffle House. I'm trying to get it all in one bite here. I'm officially a part of the team now. Hey, Call me. Call me Chef Morrow. <laughs> I liked it. It's upside down. I'm, I'm already fired. I'm already fired. I lost. I'm done. Can you believe that? I'm bald. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you guys like your hash browns. Scattered. What's the different types of hash browns? You got scattered. Wow. Smothered, covered, chunked. Dice cap pepper? Dice cap pepper? Oh wow. Gravy? Gravy. Oh. There's a lot of different combinations. I should have got some chili hash. Chili? Yeah, chili hash. That would be good stuff. Oh no. Yeah, they got chili for the hash. Oh my gosh, I did not know this. You work here and you don't know that? I think I found my new look. I think I'm gonna keep it forever. Paper, so it's not gonna last that long. Well, that might be probably the most random video I have ever made. Like, <laughs> what a crazy day. I'm, I'm happy that I shared it all with you. We started off at Disney Springs. We had the new Gideon's cookies, got some cup cups, came home, gave Gracie her pup cups, went to Epcot, got to see a bunch of ducks eating some french fries, didn't get caught in the rain, got to say hi to some friends, and then over to Jelly Rolls to check out their luau and finish up the night at Waffle House. Like, <laughs> how crazy is that? Such a fun day, though. It's kind of like what being a, uh, like, local here at in Orlando is like. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing the things that we get to do, and I'm just so blessed to be able to share it with you guys. Like, tonight was a fun day, and like I said, I, it's so early. Like, I can't believe we're at Waffle House at 10 o'clock at night. Like, like I said, Waffle House is good in the morning. I wonder if they even have dinner. Like, I'm sure they do, but, like, do people go there for dinner? Like, usually I see a lot of people there on Sunday morning or, uh, like, late at night and stuff like that. But I loved it. It was great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.